out with a story you'll see only on Fox. Isaiah? Well, Don, at this point, we don't need to say allegedly or accuse. We're hearing from the attorney who represents that associate pastor this afternoon, and he says his client is admitting to taking the money, and now his client wants forgiveness from the church and the community. On Sundays within the holy walls of City of Refuge Church in Houston, Associate Pastor Russell Thompson really rocked the crowd with that old-fashioned religion and song. But how did the man who stood in the pulpit before go from this to, well, this? Are you going to hire a lawyer or ask to be considered for a court-appointed lawyer? Hire a lawyer. Thank you, sir. Please see the bail. Harris County investigators say Thompson may have been a wolf in sheep's clothing. One minute preaching the word of the Lord, the next minute stuffing his pockets with tithes and offerings belonging to the church. Here's his appearance in probable cause court after he was arrested and booked. Mr. Thompson, Russell Thompson. Sir, you've been charged with theft of over $200,000. We've already been indicted, and the date on that is going to be March 14th. Investigators say Thompson created a separate bank account, and when checks came in addressed to the church, the holy man slid them into his own account to the tune of well over a quarter of a million dollars. Here's a Harris County prosecutor spelling out Thompson's scheme. Opened a bank account in the church's name. Using a DBA, he filed under a similar name. Deposited checks totaling $284,503.10 into that account that were actually written and intended for the church. Bail for Thompson was set at a half million dollars. We decided to see if he would comment at his Pearland home. No one answered the door. In the meantime, officials with City of Refuge issued this short statement saying, The indictment speaks for itself. We trust the justice system and we believe justice will be served. Now, once again, he's accused of stealing that money over a two-year period, and we heard from his attorney, Tyrone Moncrief, this afternoon. That attorney says that he is now admitting guilt in this case, and he's asking for forgiveness. Now, he will be back here at the Harris County Criminal Courthouse on April 10th for a second appearance. Reporting from downtown Houston, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.